So one thing you'll notice as you're doing some testing at this stage in the tutorial is that when you click on any of these touch regions, your actor is going to start moving and even when you let go of the mouse, he's going to continue moving in that direction that you last touched. And this might be what you want for this specific game, but maybe you only want him to move as you're clicking or holding down your mouse or touching your iPad in this specific area and then when you let go, he'll stop. So to get your character to stop, let's go ahead and add a few more rules. So I'll just click the back arrow. And what I'm going to do is double click on up. And we want to create a new rule here. So I'll create a rule. And you notice for this first rule we had the following. When touch is pressed, we want to change the controls attribute to up. So what we want to do now is again, when the touch is in this case released, and again, you can just hold the Alt key, so I'm going to take this change attribute value, and I'm going to drag that by holding Alt down into here, the game's control, and I'm going to switch this over to none. So let's just review what we have going on here. The first rule we set up means that when you press the up arrow, we're going to change the game control's attribute to up, and then when we release, lift our finger or lift our mouse up, we're going to change that game controls over to none. And let's see what happens when we preview our scene now. I'm going to click on up and let go and it stops. So only when I click does it move, but when I let go it completely stops. So it's not continuously moving. So let's go ahead and apply this rule to our right, down, and left actors as well. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to click on this rule that we just set up, which was the once we release, go ahead and switch that attribute to none. Make sure it's selected, and I'm just going to copy that. So I'll hit Command C for copy. Click the back arrow. I'll double click on right. Click in this empty area here, and then Command V to paste that. And let's do this for down and left as well. Again, click in this empty area, Command V to paste double click on left, click in the empty area and command V to paste. And then if I preview this, you'll see that all of these buttons are behaving exactly the way I want. That when I'm pressing down, it's moving, the letter A is moving, but when I release, it goes ahead and stops. So again, this may or may not be what you want, but depending on how you want to control your character, you may want to set up this release rule so that it doesn't just continuously move in that direction.